doing? How's everybody doing? Good. Yeah, yeah, Appreciate yeah. y'all coming out. Am I too close, too far? Uh, you're good. Right there. Coach, I know we talked through about three weeks ago, I think it was, right when practice was getting going. What have you learned the last three weeks? Or are you comfortable with where you're at heading into opening night? You know, it's always funny this time of year because as, as the head coach, um, you know, if you do really well offensively in practice, you're concerned about your pitching. If you pitch really well in practice, you're concerned about your offense. So, you know, obviously uh, um, off uh, coming into all this, our pitchers, I was really impressed uh, coming into this into the spring practice and stuff. They had done a great job, obviously, experience and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, the inexperience in our offense was, was a concern. I mean, we had the talent, but, you know, in the last three weeks, our offense has been probably better than our pitching staff, uh, which is crazy to think uh, if you had told me that three weeks ago that that's where we would be at. So just been really impressed with the offense and how they've come along. But, um, you know, again, pitchers have done well. The guys that you expect to do well have done well. Um, you know, some guys, you know, maybe – older maybe need to lock it in a little bit more but maybe that's what they're just waiting for the lights to come on so that, that's always when you get excited to face somebody else and put another team in the other dugout to see you know what happens when the lights turn on who are the guys that that uh you know panic and who are the guys that rise to the occasion so it'll be fun uh, i'm excited I'm, we're in a good place we're definitely a lot farther along than i thought we would be at this time which is good um and you know we're excited to get going on friday I knew you said uh, a couple of times the other week that, that, that pitching and defense was the way you're probably going to have to win games this year. Are you kind of changing your stance on that? It's going to be pitching, defense, and hitting because yeah. you feel more comfortable. No, I mean, I think we still have the pitching and the defense, and that's going to be the strength of our club, and that's what we have to do. Um, and a good pitcher can always stifle a good offense, and so it's really hard to base you know, your future on your offense. So um, we definitely have the depth on the mound, and obviously we get through the first three weeks, we get some pitchers, pitch counts up, we'll, we'll be even better. Um, but I'm happy with where we're at. I think we have we have more depth than we've ever had at every position. We got a lot of competition, um, and I'm excited to see these guys go out and compete and, and, and go to and go to battle with each other. It's a really good group of kids that are really really tight knit. They really care about each other, um, and really really have high expectations for themselves. Um, and so excited to see them go out and, and try to try to try to live up to those expectations. Tough road trip week two, so how much do you stress getting off the right foot opening weekend? Well, I mean, always. I mean, no matter what, you always want to get off on the right foot, get get the get the momentum going in your way. But at the same time, like, momentum's only as good as the next day's starting pitcher, and so you just got to come out and try to get better. Um, where we're at today, I want to be better. I mean, you know, when we go next Monday for for practice, I, I want to be better than what we were this Monday. And, um, and that's just going to be the plan that we have every single day is to try to do that. So, um, you know, you got to get some, some questions answered. Answered and, and see some guys under the lights and uh, really try to narrow down, uh, um, you know, going from four games or five games this week to the to the weekend rotation against Auburn and, and some different guys will start probably offensively and um, figure out who, you know, what the best matchups are and, and be as prepared as we can for that weekend. But you got to do that by getting after it these next couple days in practice and then, and then getting after the uh, opening night. Opening weekend is four games. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have an idea who you're going to start out? Yeah, so Colton Gordon, one? Colton Gordon will start Friday night for us. Um, uh, Trevor Holloway will go game one on Saturday. Um, uh, Hunter Pattison uh, will go game two on Saturday, and then uh, right now we're just uh, unsure about Sunday games. So we're to TBD for Sunday. Just um, you know, Zach Hunter, uh, you know, a little banged up, and just trying to figure out what his availability is. Uh, and, then, and then try to figure out between him and Joe and, and Jack Sinclair, kind of those would be the guys in the mix. But also trying to figure out our best situation in terms of how do we get 36 innings and, and, and wins and, and who gives us the best depth in the bullpen and matchups and all that kind of stuff. So we're still going through some of the uh, scan report stuff on, on how to get to there. So uh, we'll kind of maybe wait till tomorrow or Thursday and, and come up with a decision. Colton Gordon, uh, obviously, what did he do? I know he started his career at Florida. He yep. was a Juco last year. What did he do to kind of emerge and, and have trust in him to put him out there on Friday? Well, I mean, obviously, he has one of the best stuff on our team. Uh, we obviously, the angle is hard with the height and, and being a low kind of arm angle lefty. So uh, just really difficult on guys. But he also was the most consistent guy. So he has one of the best stuff on our team, and he was the most consistent in practice, and he deserved it. He earned it. Uh, you know, sometimes you go with a guy that maybe has the experience uh, that has done it on Friday nights or has done it at this level, um, and you kind of lean towards them a little bit. But um, – Obviously not really having that guy other than Joe and just coming back from what he's going through. And, um, you know, we just didn't feel like there was, he was the best guy and he earned it. And so having the best stuff and, um, you know, and just projecting him out as, as the guy that we thought could have, have the best success against guys on Fridays. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, he's the guy that earned it over the course of the fall and, and the last three weeks. Uh, he's been our best performer. And you mentioned Hunter Patterson as one of the freshmen that you've been impressed with. For him to 
to put him out there on an opening weekend. What have you continued to see out of Hunter? Yeah, I mean, just again, it was really consistent. I mean, he's got consistently gotten better. Uh, I mean, you would, if you had told me this in the second week in October or whatever it was whenever he started practice, the second weekend, I would have been like, nah, he's not ready. But he's just worked hard. You, you know, obviously coming back in the January, those freshmen are able to kind of take a deep breath now and have an understanding of what the expectations are. Um, and you can just see the growth that he's had. He's put on weight. He's gotten stronger. His velocity's up. His breaking ball has really tightened up. Um, he's super competitive. Um, and he's been consistent and consistently good and it's really hard to keep somebody out of the lineup just because of their age. Um, I think he has the, the competitiveness and the maturity to handle it. Um, and, uh, you know, again, the lights are going to come on. We'll get a real answer. But, um, again, he's just deserved to be in the starting rotation and, and just been better than all the other guys that, that he's competing against. Do you have some leading candidates maybe for a long relief in that closer role as well? Who do yeah. you go to first? I mean, Jeff, Jeff Hakenson's obviously going to shut it down. Uh, you know, David Litchfield will probably be our eighth inning guy. Um, you got Billy McKay who can kind of do anything. He can be a, 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 a starter kind of like opener. He can pitch in the middle innings. He can pitch at the end of the game if we need him to. He's just going to be the guy that we kind of throw in there when we need him to. Uh, when we need that big out. We need a ground ball. We need a side armor that's really going to pitch a ton for us. Um, you know, obviously, whoever doesn't come in the rotation, those guys are going to go right into the long relief. Jack can, can kind of do anything. He can start. He can be an eighth inning guy. He can be, you know, a kind of middle guy. He can be a long relief guy. Obviously, Jalen Whitehead has, has the experience um, in the six success and, and being able to show that he can do different things. It gives us, again, some more depth in those middle innings that's going to be able to allow us to do different things. And uh, and if he ends up being a starter against Stetson, then, then so be it. But we'll wait till we get through the weekend to, to kind of figure that out. But So we have multitude of guys in the middle of the game. Chad Lindsman, obviously, the, the transfer hit, that's going to give us some, some more depth and experience that can be a one or two inning, three inning guy. Um, could start against Stetson that, that, again, is going to pitch for us. Um, but again, you're getting 10, 11, 12 deep. And that's that's really something that we haven't had since I've been here, and uh, we got to stay healthy. Which we, we say that every year, and after last year, we say it more. But um, you know, you're excited about the depth and the different angles and the different kind of matchups that we can provide with, with the people that we have. First base, third base, left field. I know we're some position battles heading into the mm -hmm. fall or in the spring. Uh, who's lining up where? Yeah, you know, it's still, it's still kind of up in the air based on some matchups, but I think I'm also going to let some guys play this weekend. I mean, I think the top four guys in the lineup, um, you know, Jeffrey's obviously locked down center field and Dalton and Wright. Um, and, uh, you know, Tom Joseph and, and, and Jordan Rathbone and Josh Krauts have all proven that they they got to play somewhere. Um, and so just trying to fit those all pieces into the game. Um, while at the same time trying to keep guys fresh and, and give guys some chances, I think, uh, allows us to do different things. So I think Pablo Ruiz and, and, and Jordan Rathbone obviously will be the two left fielders, just depending on what lineup we go with. And if we want to get Pablo in the game, that slides Rathbone either first or DH. Um, uh, Nick Romano and Connor Allen have been really good at first base. I mean, really made it uh, really tough on us to figure out who should play and who shouldn't. They both have been hitting. Um, obviously, Connor's a slight defensive edge with his size, which I like. Plus, he's left-handed, so he covers the four hole. Um, but he's also a big target for some of the younger guys. Uh, Matt Archer is going to play third base. Um, um, and then even, like I said, Noah Orlando kind of has really done a great job at short, but Andrew Brait's really come on strong. You know, missed the fall with, uh, with the injury, um, but has really come on, put on weight over the break when he finally got to get in the weight room, and has really uh, impressed us defensively and offensively the last three weeks. He's really put himself in, the, in a position to, to play shortstop, uh, him and Noah, so still got to decide on that. And obviously, Jostin can play second and third or DH, so um, you know, we hope his, his bat will be in the lineup. So just gotta, you know, one decision here changes a lot of different things, and so that one decision might just be different every day as we get through the four games to give some guys some, some breathers and, and to give guys an opportunity to perform and, and matchups and all that kind of stuff. Still waiting on their line or their uh, starting rotation, so that'll that might change some things. Things. Just you know, if we want to go let, get more righties in there or get more lefties in there, depending on the line of where we go. So, still some position battles that are up for this week, but also give some guys some opportunities this week to earn. We talked at media day about being picked fifth by the media mm -hmm. in the league. After what you've seen, the improvements and all that kind of stuff, are you even more positive about your team that you know, hey, we could we could really do something? Yeah, definitely. But I always thought that. I mean, I always felt like we had the talent, and, and with our league, man, it's every day. You just every game is important, and. and Again, last year it was two game difference from second to seventh or eighth, and I don't expect anything differently with the people that have returning and the coaching staffs and the programs that recruit good players that we get. 
to be the, the, the first or second best league in the country in terms of depth and, and whatnot, like you know that every year is going to be a grind. And if people are healthy, like they're going to be really good. And every game you have to show up and perform. And so I don't expect any differently from this year. So um, as good as I think we can be, I also know that you know one bad bounce here, one bounce there in two games, and all of a sudden you're in seventh place instead of second. So uh, we got to show up every day and be prepared to play you know one of the toughest league schedules in the entire country. What's the biggest surprise? Just kind of looking back the last few weeks, is there something that's kind of jumped out? Maybe a player that's emerged that maybe you weren't necessarily expecting. Well, I mean, obviously the whole this whole year, Jeffrey Payne has been our biggest surprise. Just the growth that he's had. Um, I think David Litchfield on the mound, um, just the consistency and, and the velo, and finally being healthy has been a huge. Obviously, Andrew Brait, uh, but seeing guys like uh, Tom Jostin and Crouch. And Rathbone, uh, I mean, those guys offensively, you know, you knew you had Dalton and you knew you needed people, some people behind to protect him. And I think those three guys have really stood out offensively um, that we just weren't sure of. And whether they did something really well in the fall and it was like, okay, was that just the fall or are they going to be able to carry it over? Um, but they've continued offensively to have great to great springs, um, you know, winners or whatever you want to call it. And it just gives us a great 3-4-5 to really put behind Dalton um, and obviously with Jeffrey. It gives us gives us at least five hitters. And again, Allen and Romano have done such a good job um, um, that gives us a six hole hitter and maybe a seven hole hitter depending on how the lineup shakes out uh, that you're really happy with and you really feel like the lineup has stretched itself and then you know eight and nine are going to be are going to be two guys that can run um, if the lineup shakes up the way that you think it could um, or it's going to be seven eight nine that can really run um, and then that's just going to hopefully be able to flip the lineup around back to the top of the lineup get some guys on base and, and get themselves into scoring positions where it gives those guys a chance to knock them in thanks guys appreciate y'all being here